Our next guest has long believed that you can make money and do good for society at the same time. Bobby Turner is the CEO of Turner Impact Capital, has made affordable housing his latest investment play, and he has some high-profile partners in that effort as well. Bobby joins us now. It's good to see you again. Happy New Year. It's been a while. Hey, Scott. It's so good to be back, and I'm really looking forward to a, a hopeful 2021. You are not the only one. I mean, <laughs> hope, hope is in part what you're trying to bring to people uh, Bobby, we say, you know, making money and doing good for society at the same time, your affordable workforce housing funds are, are among the largest of their kind in America. Why this area? Well, you know, Scott, sadly enough, even before COVID-19, our country has been falling short of, on its ideas. Um, when we think about the, 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 the facts, there's 38 million Americans living on food stamps in this country. Only one in three students in public schools are proficient at grade level. 78% of full-time workers are living paycheck to paycheck. And for this particular issue, one in two working families, nearly 24 million are, are rent burdened. Uh, spending upwards of a third of their income on rent. And candidly, one in four, nearly 12 million families are spending upwards of 60% of their income on rent. Uh, and that's just not sustainable. You add COVID to the equation and it further exacerbates the disparity of opportunities. And, and candidly, while it's too soon to determine the magnitude of disruption by this pandemic, it's clear to I think all of us that it has absolutely hit our most vulnerable, our minority communities uh, much harder than others. And it's highlighted just how fragile our most vulnerable populations are to economic, political, and unforeseen emergencies. I think it also exacerbates the government's inability to create lasting solutions to our most social, our most pressing social challenges because, candidly, as a result of this, there'll just be fewer dollars to be spent on the social safety net of education, health care, and housing. Spe speaking of dollars, how much have you raised, and, and how did Bill Ackman and Chris Paul of the NBA get involved with you on this? So over the past five years, we've raised about $1.4 billion for our social impact initiatives, which should enable us to do about $5 billion of community uh, enriching infrastructure. The most recent fund, we raised $350 million, which will enable us to buy an additional 10,000 units of affordable workforce housing and preserve it. Uh, about $1.25 billion of spending power with the new fund. And you're buying existing, um, you're buying existing multifamily structures, correct? We are. One of the criminal elements why we know that there's a huge demand for, for workforce housing. Uh, one of the problems that we're, we're, we're addressing is the fact that the existing stock of workforce housing is, is actually shrinking because every time naturally occurring housing, workforce housing is put on the market, it's bought by a more traditional investor who either scrapes it to build new condos or they improve it with new amenities and increase, wage, increase rents on, on the very consumer who's seen no wage inflation over the last few decades. Ackman has invested or he's back four of, of your firm's funds. And, and Chris Paul's got, he's not just an ambassador putting his name on the, on the door. I mean, he's got some skin in the game too, right? Uh, he does. Uh, uh, Bill, Bill has been a super partner uh, and investor for many years across all of our platforms. He's in our, our housing funds and our education funds. Uh, Chris is an amazing ambassador for great will. Uh, this is not a, a franchise deal. It's not a licensing agreement. Uh, Chris is an investor. He's a partner in the fund, and he gets up every day and, and, and wants to be in the trenches fighting the injustices that come from social determination. Bobby, Steve Weiss has a question for you before I let you run. Steve? Hey, Bobby, good to see you. And, you know, As well, you Steve. were essentially doing ESG before it was a label on the, and in vogue. Where else do you see this occurring? So you're in schools, you're in affordable housing. It's a phenomenal business plan because, yes, you can do good, go home, feel great and make money doing it for investors. Is there another sector you have your eye on or is your plate so full right now with this, which is a, a burning need? that you're just focused here? Well, we sort of look at the opportunity set as being almost a three-legged stool. You know, the disparity of income is a problem in this country, but it's not the underlying problem, it's the disparity of hope. And if hope is built on a clear path to prosperity and upward mobility, which requires affordable workforce housing, it requires great access to uh, quality, high-performing public schools. It also requires access to affordable and preventative health care. So at Turner Impact Capital, we've got three verticals, education, uh, health care, and housing, recognizing the interdependency between the three issues.